In this episode, we're going to take a pre-alpha first look at a new game within a game. It's called Conquest, and it's within Golem Overlord. If that sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey, all you Golemancers, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you like this kind of content. I recommend it to other people who may be interested in the same content. I appreciate it. it. Helps me out. Okay, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about Golem Overlord. Okay, if you're not familiar with this game, it is a Web3 game on the Hive blockchain. OK, um, I'm not going to dig deep into the details of what the actual game is, um, but it is a play to earn game that's been out for a little, maybe a year, a little bit more than a year. And I've been playing it ever since we have a guild going um, and it's going it's going pretty well. Um, we're not ranked highest, like in the top 10 or anything, but everybody's playing on a daily basis and it's been pretty fun. Uh, and we've been earning. So uh, a lot of the tokens that we've been earning off of the game, the parts and the shards on a daily basis, a lot of that's been either burnt or reinvested in the game. Some people transfer them out and do other things with them on the high blockchain in other games or selling, whatever. Either way, it's been going pretty good, and Yixen has been very good about uh, continually updating the game. Okay, so what is this episode about? It is about a new feature called Conquest. And uh, it's a feature he's been working on. And basically, it's a game within a game. Uh, not jumping too far ahead of myself, but um, he made it available to VIP members, okay, to, to check out over the last couple weeks or so. And since I'm not a VIP member, uh, I, I haven't seen it. I mean, I've seen people talk about it, and I've seen people with pictures and stuff like that posted in Discord and things like that, but I've never got my fingers on and played the game. So that's what we're going to do. Um, he reached out to me just right up at the beginning. Uh, this is not paid for. This is not, uh, I don't really get anything out of it. What he did give me is a three-day VIP pass to be able to get in and check out the game and uh, show people, uh, you know, if I wanted to make a video. And I'm like, sure, why not? Why not? I'll make a video about it while I'm doing it anyway. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and jump into my app inventory, which was cool enough. I mean, he actually made, instead of just going on the back end, giving me VIP, uh, he actually made a NFT out of a three-day VIP pass. So uh, I don't know actually if it's a really a transferable um it does say you can transfer it. So it is actually a transferable uh, NFT <laughs> and uh, could be dismantled for uh, 48 pi uh, pyrite. So that's very interesting. Uh, very tempting. Uh, I was very tempted to save it. But let's go ahead and use it and get my three days VIP going here. Okay. Patron pass activated three days VIP. So that works out. Now, uh, what we're looking at is down here uh, in this, and it shows that it's in pre-alpha. Uh, I just want to step back here. He wants to, uh, you know, uh, stipulate and make it very clear that this is this is something in the works. Okay, he's working on it. Uh, it's very early, and uh, he just wants to show everybody what he's working on. Uh, so, you know, everything may change. Uh, and if you've played uh, uh, played this game, Golem Overlord, you know everything does change. So, if you want to. Uh, if, if any of this sounds interesting to you and you want to sign up for the game, uh, go ahead and use my uh, referral code in the show notes. I would appreciate it. It gets me a little bit going um, and tells me that, you know, everybody's enjoying this kind of content. But either way, let's look at this. Okay, so uh, VIP members have pre-access. Um, like I said, uh, they can access this at all times. Now, what he's doing right now is he's opening this uh, game up to everybody else within the game at certain other time points, gates of battle. They are open four times a day. Um, and you can earn people who are VIP members. He's trying to, you know, get people to uh, do that VIP treatment, which has other advantages as well. It's just like a uh, any other game where you buy the battle pass or whatever. Um 
But you can earn one Yixen's Trinket 2, which is one of the boxes, one of the crates you can open in-game and get a random myriad of equipment and different stuff that's useful in-game, uh, which is nice. So let's go ahead and click on this and see what we're looking at. So we see my name. We see I'm 0 and 0. I have uh, no rating, really, 1,000, uh, because I have never played. And apparently that equals Iron 5. So uh, we have different and I need to turn the sound off there we have different modes here we have unranked PvP uh, conquerors prepare for battle uh, okay so we we'll talk we talked about that or we do a, a bot game PVE and the rest of this is soon to come uh, where he has ranked challenge and tournaments uh, soon to come <laughs> um, and he has uh, daily leader boards uh, individual and guild <clears throat> So uh, I don't think my guild's on here. Um, yeah, nobody in my guild's been talking about playing this, so um, we are not on there. So let's go ahead and jump into a bot game. What I've been told and what I've seen of this is it's kind of like an automated chess type game except for it's using the mechs or the uh, golems in game so let's go ahead and check it out looking for a opponent shouldn't take too long because this is versus a bot <laughs> i like how it just says bot okay so first of all i'm looking to see if i have a timer i don't see if i have a timer so um I have to fill my empty slots, click a unit to add it to your team. So let's look at our units. We have support, damage. I'm glad that he uh, labeled what these are. Uh, so as we all know, let's, let's find us uh, a couple good tanks. Uh, all mine are level one, obviously, because I haven't leveled them up. Um, let's go up with a bulwark. Let's go up with uh, <clears throat> a Quartz Reaver and I'm just looking for another tank and an Ice Behemoth. Okay, so let's throw two tank, uh, three tanks up there. Um, the other options are going to be support. I'm looking to see if they have any range. Oh, they have damage. It's what's called damage. Okay. So, um, I guess the Quartz Reaver is damage, is not a tank. Oh, oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and leave that up there. Uh, let's go ahead and throw in a Harmonizer there for support. Another one for support. And then, for good measure, let's just throw a Whisper on the back end for damage. And like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing here. We do have a countdown timer here. I have a little bit more than a minute left. I'm um, trying to see if there's anything. It uh, looks like you can click on these and uh, filter down. Just looking through. Okay, I mean, I filled my slots. Um, it says place adamant bulwark on the board. Click a green tile. Okay. So I'll put my tank here, tank here, tank here. I'll put my support here. I'll put supports here and I'll put a damage right there. So let's go ahead and start battle and see what that does. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna automate it. Uh, so it's one of those uh, automated battlers. So let's go ahead and play. Okay. So it goes through and it moves the various golems for you. It shows the damage. It shows the battle log on the right. Uh, looks like looks like he came out with like a couple tanks and all DPS. Looks like he didn't come out with any support. Hmm. No, it's gonna be a close one. Yeah, support versus DPS versus DPS. So looks like I won. It gives a list of damage dealt, uh, units lost, healing done. So 
yeah, I did 472. I took, uh, I did 25 healing. I lost five. He lost six. So that's why I won. Um, and it goes through a lot of, of stats here and it shows you exactly, uh, no, he didn't, he did come out with, a. he did come out with one support. Um, I guess I'm having a hard time, um, seeing the difference between them when they're on the field. I guess I need to make it larger. It would be nice if he had to increase size and I didn't have to increase the size on the actual browser. Okay. So game over. Okay, we already saw that. It's nice that they go through and show the log. Okay, now. Now see that updated wrong because I won that battle and it shows it as a loss. Hmm, maybe I looked at it wrong. I thought I won. Yeah, in the stats it showed that I won. Nope. I guess. I guess I lost. I looked at that completely wrong. Let's do a replay. So I know that's, this is my side up here because I have the ice guy, the ice golem. And I have the two support units. Yeah, it shows that I won here, but then in the end, it shows that I lost. Okay, nevertheless, let's go ahead and play another game. Let's just go all, throw a couple tanks in there and then a bunch of DPS and see what happens. Okay, this is damage. Let's throw in an ice behemoth and an adamant bulwark as tanks. And then let's go in with just all, let's just not put any support in there. Let's do damage. I wonder if there's different types of damage. Quartz Reaver, Whisper. I got one more I can choose. Okay, let's go up here and let's place these guys right here and it doesn't really matter I, I don't see because they just run all over the field anyway so let's just do um, DPS DPS that's four oh. okay let's see how much different this handle happens oh See, he crowded all the way over in the right-hand corner. So I'm guessing that they can only move a few certain amount of squares. I'm, I'm guessing in their stats they have a certain movement rate. We'll have to check that out, um, which would indicate how fast they could come over. Obviously, tanks would be bigger and slower. Cheated death. So I'm the red balls. Uh... Red diamonds, those aren't balls. Okay, so I won. I know I won there. And once again, my sound effect goes off in the middle of it. Okay. Okay, let's go back to matchmaking. Okay, so it shows I'm one and one now, okay? Um, I don't imagine two matches are enough to make it on the daily leaderboard. Yeah, it's gotta be. Uh, yeah, see, I'm 123 on the leaderboard. Okay, so let's do one more game and then we'll take a look at a few other things and um, wrap it up, make this a short one. 
This is interesting. There's not a whole lot of selection. I'm wondering what the difference between all of these, say for instance, is, is this adamant bulwark and this adamant bulwark the same? 3479, attack 18, defense. Oh, see, some of them are different. See, this defense is 29, this defense is 30. AP 12, AP 10, speed 460. So that they're not all the same. So just because it's an adamant bulwark, it's not the same. Uh, wow, the Quartz Reavers are fast. Okay, they're DPS. Let's look at, um, let's do, in the yellow, I'm guessing that I don't know what the yellow means. Maybe they need to heal up. They've been used too much. Um, that's what I'm guessing. But I do not have any information on that. Let's see. I've got... Okay, so I need one more DPS. It could go in with the support. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Start battle. He started off in the right corner again. Now I did see that one of the stats on these are speed, so I'm the red diamonds. This is not looking good for me on this one. Looks like a debuff just what happened. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to make it. Cheated death. Made a saving throw. This is going close, close. And I hate the fact that uh, it doesn't immediately show you who won. It gives you a bunch of numbers that you have to read through and it doesn't tell you exactly uh, was I team team A or team B? I'm not sure. Damage dealt. Team A looks like they dealt more damage. And uh, team A dealt more damage but lost more units. So team A lost. Yeah, this could be. I think that right after the match is over, it should tell you, you won, you lost, or something. Uh, it is nice to have all the stats, but if you don't, if you read the stats and you don't necessarily have a clear cut, you won this match. See, let's go back to matchmaking and see, I, I lost that match, which I, th I thought I did. So I think there could be a little bit more clarity. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, more to come on this, but um, it's interesting nonetheless. It's, it's a little mini game he's building into uh, his main game, which is Golem Overlord. Um, something else to do, um, and uh, I guess it's, uh, as far as right now, it's just like an extra um, thing you get if you pay for the Golem VIP pass, uh, which I don't. Frankly, I play so many different games that I, very few of them, I subscribe to the VIP pass because I just don't, I don't have time to dedicate enough time to each game to get my money's worth out of that. But either way, uh, he may, when it goes live fully, he may go ahead and open it up to everybody. Um, I'm thinking that he'll probably stay with the, the idea of, hey, you know, you can play it if you're a free to play player um, and invested in the game with, you know, buying crates and stuff like that. But you're definitely going to get more out of it if you're a VIP, something some along those, those lines, either way. It looks interesting. I want to take a look at it. Uh, 
Uh, I think I need to wrap my head around more about how the stats with each of the units work, um, how to best position the units, and uh, what each of the units actually do. Because because and how can you actually level can you level up the units? Uh, I did see where the units were like level one, so that means I assume there's a level two or level three, something like that. Uh, I don't have any information on that. I wish he would have like you know instructions, something like that. But he seemed to you know put it out there that he's basically just just working on it right now. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd take a look at it. it was kind of interesting. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and once again, uh, if you want to start playing Golem Overlord, go ahead and check out my uh, referral code. Uh, other than that, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I might see you in Golem Overlord. Mm -hmm.